Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. Today we have the Mistletones. <laughs> it's late February, and of course it's going to happen that I'm going to get some Christmas stuff throughout the year as these are randomly selected. Uh, this is an ABC Family special uh, Christmas movie. It came out in 2012. It's an hour and a half long. And as you can probably see if you squint real hard, that's Tori Spelling. Um, she's not the main character of the movie. She's actually the villain. So, <laughs> I'm not sure. I guess she's the, the big star in this. Even though the main character is uh, Tia Maori, which you might know was one of the sisters from Sister Sister. Uh, her other sister doesn't show up in this movie. It's just her. And, uh, of course, well, let me give you the plot here. Uh, Tia plays, who she plays? She plays Holly, of course. It's a very Christmassy name. This, honestly, think about this. It's shot in Utah. It, honestly, I don't, I don't look at Hallmark Christmas movies, but when I'm at home for the holidays, uh, my sister-in-law tends to have them on the television 24-7 if there's not, if my brother doesn't have football on. So, yeah, this could have easily fallen into the, uh, Hallmark, uh, movie, Christmas movie, uh, pile. Uh, but of course this is not on the Hallmark Channel, it's on ABC Family. Um, it's pretty much up there with the quality of all those, uh, as I just said, shot pretty, I think it's pretty much, they're all shot in the same place. Um, and they all have the same concept and the same basic characters, uh, except she's not blonde. <laughs> she's not a blonde white girl. So, but Holly is a girl who works at some sort of corporation that does something that they are all about meeting their goals and everything else. But she's more focused on, she wants to sing on Christmas Eve at the mall. Yeah, that's, that's her dream. I guess it's because her mom once did that and her mom's no longer around, ding, ding, ding. Dead parent alert. We got a dead parent. It's the Disney movie tradition. <laughs> yes, it's an ABC film technically, but it's a it's owned by Disney. So yeah, dead parent alert on the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. And uh, But her dad, uh, I don't know if you noticed my t-shirt here, her dad is played by Reginald Vell Johnson. Well, as you'll know, is the, uh, the cop from uh, Die Hard. That was my Nakatomi Plaza. There you go. But uh, anyway, I had to wear the shirt. It just fit perfectly. I don't know if we're ever going to see, you know, Disney now owns Fox. So technically they own Die Hard. But I doubt we'll ever see Die Hard on, the, on Disney+. Plus. Uh, what with all the swearing. Although, I have to say something. This has the most swearing that uh, I've ever seen on Disney+. Plus. Uh, they use the word ass and biatch. And, uh, like, biatch. They say biatch. They don't say bitch, they say biatch. Uh, and people are, are drinking here and there. It's, it's a very, I mean, for being a modern film, uh, the only thing they don't do is smoke. And as far as we know, there's no full-on sex, but we don't, if we did, they didn't show it. Uh, anyway, even though everybody's hooking up in this thing, everybody pairs off at some point. All the characters we meet end up pairing off, not to spoil anything. But uh, anyway, Holly wants to, wants to uh, join the uh, Snowbells, which her mom created many years ago, but somehow it's been taken over by Tori Spelling and her diva followers. It, it's always this little class warfare thing also. I should add that to the other the things we always find in Disney films. And it's not specific to Disney films, but there seems to be always a plot where there is this better, higher level social circle that always looks down on our hero and her compadres, and they uh, have to challenge to show who is better. And even when the good guys lose, they still win in the end. Yeah, so I just spoiled everything. Like you're gonna, if you didn't already watch this, the odds are you're not gonna. It's not a great movie, but uh, anyway. She gets rejected from the Snowbells, and uh, but she decides, hey, you know what? I'm going to go to the mall and see, is there a way we can have other acts? And he's like, okay, we're going to make create a competition like American Idol. He actually name checks American Idol. So, um, yeah, there's, 
they uh, they end up opening a can of worms where uh, anybody can perform. And she ends up gra grabbing, grabbing a bunch of people from her work to make her own little musical group to sing. Because you can't apparently sing alone. You have to have a group. Um, yeah, so they battle it out. And then a surprising... There is a little bit of a surprising turn here. They're hunky, but work, 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 workaholic boss. Um, she finds out after she, I don't know, her car breaks out or something. I forget. She ends up having to, she goes across the street to the bar and just wait out the tow truck or something. I honestly, I think I blacked out at this point, but I wake up and find out that she's watching this one guy sing karaoke at this bar. Uh, and he's like singing Elvis or whatever. And he's just dancing, singing. He has everybody mesmerized. And it's, it's her boss, and, and this is how much I was paying attention. Is I, I had to be told that it was her boss. They had to, to have a scene afterwards. She's like, "You're my boss, and <laughs> you can do this. You can sing. You're great. You know how to dance and everything." And he just looked like another white guy to me. You know, they all look alike. So, but he he just he he looked like every generic white guy in Utah. So he uh. Uh, he ends up joining up with her. She she videotapes it on her phone, and she uh, videotaped. That's how old I am. She vi she tapes it on her phone, films it on her phone, and blackmails him into teaching him how to dance and properly sing and choreograph and God knows what else. I'm not gonna tell you the rest of it. You gotta watch it if you care at all. You have to watch it. I do not recommend this as something you'd want to watch any other time around other than Christmas. It's pretty much by the numbers. It's not great um but if you've run out of hallmark movies to watch here's something on disney plus but there's a much better movies on disney plus that are christmas themed noel i really liked uh you know but it's it, it she's not main actor is not bad they're not it's just one of the members is one of the thing, things it's just they run through a ton of cliches other than the usual trope of dead mom uh mom would be proud of you yeah no i don't know she would we didn't win blah 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 you know, that, that kind of thing and uh, the big gesture the big romantic gesture kind of thing at the last minute thing you know it's those kind of tropes that uh you know win the girl back at the last minute it's they're all there but there's also the hey let's have one of the people in our where I have a, we have a very diverse group of people in our group as compared to just all white women middle you know middle-aged diva milfs that are uh in tori spelling's group and then they're all the, the good guys are all uh, diverse and uh there's even a, a fat asian guy okay but i'm pretty sure they put a fake belly on him to make him look fat which equates in our society as ugly and when he tells everybody that he's married, he's they're all surprised. What? Really? And then you meet her at the competition, and she's smoking hot. And everybody's all confused, like, what? How, how could you and fat person get a beautiful woman? It's meant for comedy. And there's also, oh, there's during the initial tryouts at the very beginning of the movie, they have a heavy metal punk rock girl singing jingle bells or something i don't know and then and then a bunch of transvestite three transvestites come up and they sing a, another song it's 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 kind of really weird that they just would do that like like those were i think those were meant to be funny bits i, I don't know they okay i've said enough <laughs> if this doesn't convince you to watch it or not watch it um, then there's nothing else that can be said. But the mistletones is a thing that's on Disney+. Plus. Sorry, Tori Spelling. It's just not for me. But yeah, let's pick tomorrow's. Let's move on from this national nightmare. Come on. 307. What do we get? 307. Come on. All the way down. Three, oh, seven.
hey, we got, I think we got an animated one. And it's a uh, series, I think. Yeah, no. A series, yeah, it's a series. Uh, so we're going to watch a few of these. But it's the uh, Legend of the Three Caballeros. It's like Donald and the gang. I'm pretty sure that's going to be Donald Duck. I could be wrong. I messed up with that Scrooge McDuck thing the other night. So, uh, yeah, Legend of the Three Caballeros on the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. We'll see you back here tomorrow with that. Bye-bye.